Ropes in Hammer are easy. To make a rope, get the Entity tool and place it in your map. Select it and do Alt Enter. Change the class to a Move underscore Rope. Give your rope a sensible name. I'm going to call it My Rope. Set the next key name to something sensible as well. I'm going to call it My Rope 2. Now hit Apply. Make another entity in the exact same way. Hit Alt Enter and change it to a Move Rope. Set this name to whatever you named your next keyframe in the last move rope. So I'm going to call this one my rope 2. Now as you can see, these two rope points will connect in game. You can create as many next keyframes as you like. So I can keep making more move underscore ropes and name them things like rope 3, rope 4, rope 5 and set them to the next keyframes respectively. We can change all types of settings with ropes. The slack is how long the rope is. So if we do a higher slack between two small points, it will dangle more. Here's a slack of 64. If we do a slack that's lower, it will be more straightened out and stretched. Here's a slack of 24. As well as this, we have many more simple settings, such as making it breakable, changing the width, and changing the speed that it moves at. There are some more complex settings that I'll explain. Subdivisions is essentially how smooth the rope looks. A higher number makes it look smoother, and you can set a maximum value of 8. The texture scaling setting is how stretched out and expanded the texture is. So a lower number will make your ropes look more detailed, but a high number is going to be better for resources. Now when we hit F9 to compile our map and go in game, we can see the rope settings properly. Subscribe to see more hammer and source related videos.